Hi and welcome to the Market Alert for Monday the 29th of July. So on Friday 2 trillion and counting, the mega cap meltdown continues. This hasn't happened since the dot com bubble popped and that's back in 2000 when the Nasdaq made its first uh, all time high. Uh, stocks end uh, the week on a high as a pivotal week awaits and that pivotal week is uh, going to be uh, the non-farm payrolls and FOMC meeting on Wednesday evening. And uh, looking at economic news, well, there's nothing today, so don't expect too much in the markets. Uh, but as we move through the week, uh, the big one here is the FOMC meeting. And then we've got also the press conference. And on Friday, uh, if we just scroll up a bit, so you can see we've also got the average uh, hourly earnings, which means that the non-farm payrolls are out on unemployment. Also, we've got uh, on the Wednesday, we will have the ADP, which you can see there as well, our Eurozone CPI. And I'm looking for the jolts. Is the jolts out this week? Oh, there it is. That's out tomorrow. So it's all about the jobs this week and uh, FOMC meeting minutes on Wednesday evening, as I've already mentioned. Right, so look at the market, see what they did during uh, Friday and start off with the Dow. So in the Dow daily, you can see the market uh, moved higher there during uh, Friday's session, as it said in the headlines, up to 62% retracement from this high down to here. We've got a crossover in the stochastics. We've got the climatic volume down here. So we've got a bit of a base. So the market, in theory, is free to move to the upside. We see this on Friday, big spike to the upside in the cash market for the Dow. And this is uh, currently held. We have been through the high early in the hours, but at the moment the market is sideways uh, too higher. It needs to get back through this in order to continue this move in the daily chart through the 62% retracement there. In the German DAX, also a not move for Friday, uh, back through the averages, bit of a gap up overnight, which uh, hasn't been filled yet. So let's have a look at that in a bit more detail. Uh, so Friday, a nice spike in the volume once more at the DP level, market moves up, comes back and retests the close and then uh, continues on up through the 200 MA on increased volume, which you can see there. And then price is continuing to move to the upside there as well. Currently above Friday's high and above uh, all of the averages which are currently lined up there. Uh, the gap is a tiny one, which hasn't been filled yet, but uh, we'll just wait and see if that is. We get a bit of a pullback down towards the close and the high bit of a retest there before continuing to move to the upside. And in the S&P 500 also uh, volume there to hold the market during Thursday, Friday the market was up. We are oversold due for a, a change in fortunes here and moving back to the upside. Let's just grab a fib retracement and from this high down to here you can see these are the potential upside targets. This should have some assistance this week with the FOMC meeting minutes and also we've got uh, the uh, um, NFP numbers as well on Friday. So the S&P there moving up again on Friday. You can see the cash market action there on Friday afternoon. The market trading up to Thursday's high, struggling a bit there, coming back and uh, creating a DP for today. And then the average is all lined up as well. But you can see at the moment, the 200 MA is certainly holding prices back there. Uh, so a, cl a close through this or to drive through this with new volume is uh, required. Meanwhile, the FT100 on Thursday had a bit of a sell off and recovered with that uh, spike in volume as well. Friday, this continued as can be seen there, sort of back at the top of the channel there at the moment where prices uh, look like they're struggling a bit as well. So we are into the second week of the summer holes for the schools, which again can be a quiet one, which probably will today, but you know, expect momentum to pick up as we get into more economic news tomorrow and then into Wednesday and Friday as well. The FT100 for Friday, again, nice uh, move to start with. In the 30 minute chart prices were over sold they became overbought we had a bit of a pullback to the high where the market found support and then once we crossed again we then moved back to the upside taking out the r1 and also trading uh, 
through the well we're already sitting at the high on from thursday through the r1 and then heading towards the r2 overnight the market's uh, gone through friday's high but uh, is struggling a bit there at the moment we'll need to stay above the close and certainly above the dp and the 30 uh, the 50 ema there in the us dollar this is still uh, sideways to lower um, despite this it doesn't help the metals prices at all so let's have a look at those and starting off with silver friday prices managed to hold and we're up slightly on the overnight but it's still a struggle for the uh, silver price at the moment as uh, can be seen by this daily chart the only thing is that uh, the selling did uh, abate somewhat during friday but uh, we need to stay above the 27.95 or preferably 28 which we're currently trading at look at the 30 minute chart there's the 28 line there that red line um, Friday we were down again and then uh, we got choppy and now we're moving up a bit but still choppy overnight as well coming back to the close and the 20 bar 50 EMA there uh, where prices have moved off once more and we were oversold at this point prices are heading towards overbought so we'll see what happens obviously it could be steady until uh, Wednesday when we get those uh, FOMC meeting minutes uh, that which are set to key rates at 5.5 percent but uh, you never know do you gold meanwhile is holding very steady and up on the overnight there with the 30 minute chart so uh, just a nice steady move on friday and then overnight a spike to the upside all of those gains were given back as the market sat on the 200 ma and uh, the high from friday there in the gold silver ratio well you can see what's uh, happened here with uh, silver the hammer the price absolutely hammered a uh, touch of red there which is unusual which means silver's uh, moved a bit uh, higher than uh, or faster than gold has uh, overnight but that's about all it's still uh, under a lot a lot of pressure as far as the silver price is concerned and we could still go to uh, that 88 level there in the gold silver ratio Meanwhile, in Shanghai, the silver price is still uh, at 31.10 and Friday's uh, session was 27.76. So I think it's about $3.34 or some 36 or whatever around that area. So yeah, not uh, a lot to report. There is still that uh, difference of uh, over three and a half dollars for these markets. Right, let's have a look at uh, Friday's session. So Friday, unfortunately, I forgot to hit the record button, but it is recording today's already. Uh, we had uh, just the one signal there where the market uh, moved up uh, over 90 odd points there. Nice move to the upside as uh, prices got through the 200 MA there, sat on this and also uh, the close from Thursday. And then prices uh, drifting back there and then up again during the mid-morning session there nice trend to the upside and then of course uh, we had the Dow moving higher during the afternoon as well so prices uh, starting off choppy in the afternoon session there you can see uh, these moving well wanting to move lower there's a sell signal but finding support of course at the BRN and the 200 MA and then prices uh, moving to the upside and then we had another buy signal after the uh, first loss in the afternoon as prices continued to move uh, higher there and then into the evening along with that move in the Dow continuing to move there until uh, we got to uh, around 6.30 p.m. on the electronic session the market uh, then was subject to some profit taking there. So overnight uh, prices are sideways at the moment. So we'll just have a look, squeeze the chart up, see where we are. We've got to, in the two minute chart at the moment, we've got resistance at the 200 MA, uh, but we're above all of the other major averages there at the moment and also above the high and uh, the close there as well. Need to uh, get above the uh, R1 in order to move higher there. So it's Monday, we'll just have to wait and see what the market's going to do there is no economic news today either but it knows it's coming it's also sunny so who knows may uh, see a few traders uh, extending uh, their holes or not turning up at uh, work today 
Okay, that's it uh, for this one and from me. Have a great day. And as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.